You have to take things easy. Allow the Holy Spirit. And forget about what he has done to Please. you. Please. Let's leave the Holy Spirit aside and face reality. When you leave the Holy Spirit, what else do you have? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Where did you get this idea from? These guys don't understand the Holy Spirit. They don't understand the Holy Spirit. Let me deal with him. He can't handle me. I mean, if we fight, he cannot defeat me. If he tries it, if he, if he tries it at all, if I give him some Superman punch or RKO, I, I will spare him. Where, where did you Make get Make I deal with the guy. Where did you get this from? Where? WWE. Oh, now I understand. That's what I'm telling you. Let me deal with the guy. As the pastor mounted the podium, he started speaking in tongues. The sick man shouted, Holy Spirit. Immediately, the second madman jumped out of the church with the pastor's wife. And so the pastor, they walk like Frank. this. If they walk like this. Frank, can we talk? Now? Yes, now. Okay. What's up? You see, in our search for entertainment, enjoyment, and realization, we often unthinkingly accept the world's idea of fun. And if we are not careful, we can harm ourselves and our relationship with God. In a nutshell, it is very important we watch what we watch. What are you trying to say? Are you saying that we should only watch Christian movies and not watch anything secular? Is that what you are saying? Mm, don't get me wrong. Secular media and activities can be entertaining, educational, or uplifting. We don't need to remind ourselves and only watch, read, or listen to things which are overly Christian. But we should carefully evaluate what we do for recreation and entertainment, and how these activities affect us. I, I still don't understand you. Can you make me understand? Okay. You see, much of the entertainment and literature in our society are ungodly. This does not apply to obvious materials such as pornography. It applies to regular TV shows, videos, movies, books, magazines, and music. Much entertainment presents a false or incomplete picture of reality by leaving Christ out. It is like reading a book about how to survive in the wilderness that does not mention food or water. We can develop disrespect for pastor or Christianity. Since some of these movies, comedy, TV shows, portray pastors and Christians in a negative light. Hmm. Some of us may imitate the violent behavior we see in TV or the movies. Hmm. So movies can make us develop impure sexual thoughts and lust. Avoid harmful entertainment and ask God before you watch, listen to, or read something. 
Evaluate what you let into your spirit. Evaluate what you let into your spirit. 